Well, hello to all the ghouls, gays, and theys out there. My name is EJ Marino, and welcome to my channel. Today, we have a brand new horror movie review. We're going to be jumping into the new project from Ty West called X. If you're familiar with me and my channel, you know there's a couple things I like really notorious sexy things. I also like gory horror films. I also like really campy movies. So when I sat down for X, I was excited that this had all of that mixed together. If I could make a little like gumbo of everything I wanted, it would be this movie. I love 70s filmmaking. I love Kid Cudi. I love Mia Goth. I love Ty West movies. Well, some of them. I love 70s style pornography like Debbie Does Dallas and Deep Throat. This is a real fun homage, a real fun time period that we're diving into with X. This has a bit of that Texas Chainsaw Massacre 70s filmmaking aesthetic, but it's talking about the adult film industry. These are times where pornography was starting to get a bit mainstream, so X is at a very interesting time in society. So jumping into 79, into this era with a group of people who are about to go film an adult movie at a like a, I don't want to say a rundown, but a basically like a little farm area where they're going to go into a farmhouse. The people who are living there are just like, I don't want to know what you're doing or basically I don't need to know what you're doing. And then when they find out, that leads to more scandal and drama. Yeah, the setup is pretty interesting. And then we get to the final act of this movie that is just banana cuckoo pants crazy. I haven't experienced something that made me this over the top joyful in a bit. X is exactly what you want it to be. It's A24. It's talking about the 70s. It's dirty. It's gory. It's just outlandish. We don't get movies like this too often. A24 doesn't even get this bold and weird. I know they have things like The Lighthouse and Midsummer. Those are all great films, but they don't make cheesy, slashy, like sleaze movies like this often. I mean, this is bringing me back to what I loved about Spring Breakers. Yes, all of that together makes X something you need to check out. Trying to break into the industry, pornography actress Maxine, played by Mia Goth, is trying to figure out what the hell to do. So she gets her producer boyfriend and a group of friends to go out and film a porno at this like uh, weird farmhouse area. So they're basically allowed to stay over here. The guy who's running it is just like, yo, my wife cannot know what's happening. Let's keep this under wraps. Then we see Miss Pearl, the, the woman who is supposed to be away from this, which is also played by Mia Goth in a completely unrecognizable role. So yes, we have Maxine just trying to figure herself out. She's with some friends. Jenna Ortega's there from the new Scream movie. I absolutely love her. We have Scott Mendus Mendusky, or I think hey, he's just better known as Kid Cudi. So these are the people who are there, and they're all trying to like make their adult film. A couple of them are trying to shed their image of being a prude girl. Some of them are just trying to be like, yo, I need to be a success. I want to be like the next Linda Carter and things like that. So yeah, they're, they're just going about it. The first act is this kind of weird, fun, awkward. There's some dark humor in it as well. Like, okay, we have to hide what we're doing. Let's get into it. That's really fun. And then by the time Miss Pearl shows up and really let's start going wild, things just go crazy. And by the final act heads are getting squished we're having people dying of heart attacks i mean i truly was just blown away when things got wild i can definitely see some people saying the first little bit of this movie is a bit slow it's not exactly their cup of tea and that is fine i completely get that but i can't i can't deny it once it picks up it picks up. I enjoyed the ride to get to where we were, like to where we were going at the end, but I just, I, I again, I'm just kind of flustered by this. I have not seen a movie that really just slapped me in the face. The plot is really good. The sex scenes are really interesting. Just these people trying to do it, and then the layers of like, this is happening, and then this leads to this, and then if this doesn't happen, this person doesn't die, and I just love it. It's really, a, it's a movie with a lot of twisted webs in it. For a pretty simple movie, I was really engaged by all of it. There's twists and turns, there's fun surprises, there's a lot of WTF moments, and that's what you want from this type of plot. I think everyone does good. We'll talk about the acting in a moment, but I just overall thought this was a fun, solid script. Ty West has made movies I normally enjoy 
enjoy. Like, House of the Devil is the only one I don't really personally like, and that's more of that mumblecore, real kind of quiet, chill vibe, and then when it's talking, it feels like a lot of improv. That's not particularly my style all the time, but I love, like, Cabin Fever too. I know that no one else does. I get it. But I also really like The Sacrament and things like that, The Innkeepers. There's a style to Ty West that makes him one of the names in horror that we get excited when he comes out, and things like X are exactly why. Going through the actors that we have in this movie, I really liked almost everyone here, even Miss Brittany Snow. Girl, I talk about you in so many movies where you end up playing a crazy person, a racist, or something like that, and I'm always like, Brittany, but here, I liked her character, Bobby Lynn, or whatever her name was. She was that girl. I was pretty impressed with her. Miss Jenna Ortega playing Lorraine, who is the more kind of quiet girl, really liked her. Jenna is having the moment right now in horror from that weird Foo Fighters movie or whatever to Scream to this. She's coming up to be the Scream queen of this young generation. She's also playing, I believe, Wednesday Adams as well. Cannot wait for that. Gen uh, Z? Yeah, Gen Z. Y'all got your Scream queen finally and she's going to be it. But truly, the star of this film is Mia Goth. I loved her for quite some time. She's always that weird girl in a movie that you're like, ooh, but who is this? What is she doing? I want more of that. And she gives me exactly that in this movie. Her dual role is just fantastic. Maxine is a character I love. Like, I felt for her throughout her whole journey. By the end, when she's getting to, like, kick ass a bit, I'm just like, whoo, good. And then we find out the reveal about her, like, family. I'm trying not to, like, do sp not no spoilers in this or anything, but we find out a little bit more about her backstory, and that just adds, even at the very end, just paints her character more. And then she's playing Pearl, the crazy woman that we're dealing with in this movie, and I am just blown away. I also think we're getting a Pearl prequel movie i believe i've heard i cannot wait for that i liked pearl her poor husband as well he's like a, i don't want to say a thankless role in this movie i thought he was okay but i was just like meh, meh, pearl give me more of her like i just i'm really impressed by mia goth here this was her vehicle she's needed a film like this for quite some time and i'm so glad she's here to make this kind of splash X is a type of movie we don't get too often. I feel for the villains. I thought Pearl had a really interesting backstory. I love that. This movie is also very darkly hilarious where I was just like, I can't believe I'm laughing at what I'm laughing at. And then there's some things that are purposely funny. This movie is also ridiculously gory. X is an experience. I suggest this highly for fans of my channel. If you guys like what I normally like, I think you're going to like this movie. But if you're new to this channel, you definitely need to check out X. This is a good film from Ty West. This is a good film from Mia Goth. A24 has something unique in their horror like lineup as well. There's so much of the elevated horror where I wanted to see some trash, some sleaze, and they delivered on exactly that all right, everyone, what did you think of this review? What do you think of X? I love just doing my little X symbol. All right, guys, share your feelings down in the comments below. Share all of it. If you want to get spoilers, just at least at least let us know you're about to do spoilers so other people don't get spoiled. Oh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as well because I make videos like this every single week. And give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. All right, everyone, let's talk about X down below. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh.